What you guys got another video here for you on how to keep your data safe with an encrypted USB flash drive. This one is from Data Locker. It's the Sentry K350. It has AES 256 bit encryption, uh, FIPS 140 2 level 3. It supports cross platform and again, it's ultra secure password protection. It's got an easy guide setup and also auto charging battery on here. USB 3.2 Gen 1 is supported for this device. It's got your instructions on the back here. And we'll go into more detail once we get it out of the packaging. It's a super easy setup and I'll show you how to do it. So what are you going to store on here? Well, you can store photos, documents, just about anything really. And you can keep it safe uh, when it's uh, encrypted on here. You would need a password to enter the actual drive to use it. So this is the actual drive here. You can see you can put it on a key ring chain here if you wanted to, or some sort of um, strap around your neck if you wanted to keep it there. Again, you've got a nice little cap to cover the actual USB here. We have a digital display layout here. So we've got a menu system on here and we have our keypad, which is going to allow us to put in our password and lock the actual USB flash drive down. The device has a three year warranty and also you can set up a user account and an admin account on this USB flash drive. Now, because this USB flash drive is password protected and encrypted, if someone tried to brute force uh, the password on this to try and gain access to it they won't be able to get in there and you can set the amount of failed password attempts which would then erase the decryption key so you won't be able to gain access to all the data on that usb drive so when you first turn the usb flash drive on it's going to ask you to create a admin password and this can be a complex password if you wish it can have characters from six characters to 64 characters so depending on how complex you want to set your admin password, you would need to use this password to gain access to the drive every time you plug it in. So let's go ahead and set this up. So once the admin password is set up, it's going to give you an option to select to connect the USB flash drive to the PC, or you can put it to read only mode, or you can go to boot mode, or you can enter the menu system. There's no additional software required to run the K350. You can just plug it into the computer and start to use it. You can create a user account for this as well. So you can give it to someone else to use and you can set that to read only, or you can set up some other features to what they can access in the menu system on this device as a user. To navigate the menu, you can just push these up arrow and down arrows here and it's a zero and one. You can use these to navigate through the menu system. You can see read only, we have boot mode and we have menu. And the menu, once we'll go in there a little bit later on, it will give you access to other features on the device itself. So let's go to connect here. And when we push on connect and push the green little arrow at the bottom right here, this will tell us to insert the uh, USB flash drive into the computer here. So now I've plugged it into the computer. And because we've got the password all re-entered, it's now opened up our drive. So we can access the drive on our computer and put in all of our documents that we want to put on the drive. Once all your documents are on the drive and then you pull the drive out of the computer and turn it off, if the person that wants to plug that drive into the computer to get access to the data, they're going to have to use the password to access the drive. They won't be able to get access to the drive unless they turn it on correctly. So if you look on their website here, it will give you all the information about what this drive can do and what it can't do. It's a very powerful drive. You can even access this remotely. This device also has safe console. You'll be able to use the remote device detonation, which lets admins destroy the device and its data remotely to protect your data. Another managed feature on here would be the onboard anti-malware, which can automatically scan files and quarantine and destroy bad applications and files based on your policy settings. So let's take a look at the menu system here. So the first one we're going to take a look at is the change password here. So you can change your password in the menu system. You can also set up a user for this as well as administrator. You can have two accounts on here. And you can set up that user account to have certain access to what you want on this device itself. Next up, we have the safe console here. Now the safe console is a paid premium feature of this device. This will give you the ability to remotely manage a fleet of these devices via the safe console. You can see here on their website, I'll leave a link for this in the video description. There is a video here, which you can watch, which will explain 
what Safe Console is and what it does. I don't have access to this feature, uh, but you will be able to get access and remotely uh, manage any device that you've got uh, out in the field. So if you've got multiple users using different devices, you can manage them on this uh, Safe Console here. Now, of course, with Safe Console benefits, you can enhance security for portable USB devices. And again, it reduced the time spent deploying and managing secure USB devices. And there's loads of other things you can do with this particular safe console. I'll leave the link in the video description so you can read all this information. So if you are a business that you want to, uh, you know, deploy a bunch of these to your staff and you want to manage them, then something like safe console is going to be uh, something that is going to be useful to you. All I have to show is the website itself. So let's move on to the next one here, which is uh, self-destruct. Now self-destruct is the area where it allows you to set the amount of failed password attempts before the data is wiped or the key is wiped so you can't gain access to it. So if someone tries to brute force access to your drive by using password attempts, you can set a minimum of 10 attempts before it will go into self-destruct and, and remove all the data on the drive. The zero eyes uh, is basically an area which is going to allow you to secure erase the drive and make it impossible to recover data. And this is if you want to set up the drive again. And again, you can set password and set password length depending on what you want to set it up as. And then we have the auto lock time here as well, which you can set up and read only mode as well. So depending on which ones you want to do here, the keypad uh, preferences are right here as well. So that is a quick overview of the Data Locker Key Sentry uh, K350. It's a pretty decent bit of kit if you want to take uh, USB security more seriously. So if you have precious data that you don't want getting into the wrong hands, then this device has it all. It really does. It's not cheap, but it is a pretty decent bit of kit. I'll leave all the links and information in the video description if you're interested. So for full transparency, this device was sent to me for free by DataLocker for review. It's not a sponsored video. I have not been paid for this review and no one is reviewing this video before its release. It's just a review sample which I'm reviewing for you guys on this channel. So if you enjoy this type of content, then give it a thumbs up. And I'll leave all the links and information in the video description. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, and I'll sure catch you in the next one. Bye for now.